Guys, it's Greg. Today I wanted to give a little sort of introduction to the athletes who are going to be appearing at UAC2 in just a couple of days. Um, while all these guys and girls are, are uh, very highly decorated and respected athletes, uh, no doubt, um, within their own countries and, and for sure the region, um, I, I think that a lot of people are not... Uh, are still not very familiar with a lot of these names just because of um, the part of the world where we come from so I, I thought I'd give a, a little introduction at least to give some context to the the quality of the athletes we're having on our card um, and also maybe give a little bit of a prediction kind of thing as well uh, but yeah uh, I'll be going from the lightest weight class to the heaviest and then I'll, I'll end off with um, the, the ladies section um, so yeah Without further ado, uh, first match um, that we're going to look at is between Godfather Valen Lo from Singapore and The Crusher, Manoj Devnath from uh, India. And um, Valen is currently and has been the, the number one ranked overall guy in Singapore for, let's say, the past 10 years or so. Um, he's also the WAF, um, an ex WAF youth number one. Um, uh, WAF Asian youth number one uh, and um, Manoj on the other hand he's uh, India, in India's number one um, in the 70 kilo category under under the BCAI um, Federation uh, he was the IFA Asian number one in the 73 kg category for both left and right and then um, last year he was IFA world's number four for both left and right um, so yeah both these guys very um, uh, high accolades um of course uh just on a personal level just because i'm singaporean as well i'm gonna have to root for valen in this one I just think that valen's uh got a little bit too much horsepower um in him even though he's pretty light both of them are in are going to be competing in the under 66 kilo category which is our featherweight category um in the uac organization and uh, yeah, moving on to the next match, we have a left-handed match um, between Manoj as well and uh, between a guy called Lionel. He's the Berserker. He's currently our number ranked two, 63 kg guy in Singapore. Most of you probably would never have heard of him, uh, but he is a very, very strong, very explosive guy. Um, no one else in Singapore other than Valen is uh, even close to his strength in the 60, 63 kg category. Um, and yeah, hopefully this guy will put up a good fight against Manaj. Um, he's definitely the underdog going into this, but if we even get to see um, Lionel get a stop on Manaj, that's going to be a really, really good sign uh, for the Singapore arm wrestling scene. Um, moving on. We have Gladiator Chuan Kai versus the Unbreakable Josh Burnett. Josh Burnett, probably a more well-known name. Uh, the Burnett name carries with it a lot of prestige, in uh, at least in this part of the world, uh, for arm wrestling. Josh, I, um, I arm wrestled with him uh, about a year ago now, after Over the Top. Feels really, really strong. Um, but of course, uh, Gladiator Chuan Kai, he was our winner in the first UAC just a couple of months back against uh, one of our other guys, uh, Irvin. Um, they were in the, the 73 kg category as well, which is also what the um, what this match is going to be at. Um, our lightweight category uh, from 66 kg to 73 kg. Um, both guys very, very strong in the hook. Um, so I'm very much expecting this match to go inside. I don't expect this to be a very fast match at all. I, I expect a war, and I expect that my teammate Chuan Kai is going to come up on top. So, yeah, we shall see. Uh, moving on to the next match. Um, yes, this is going to be the title match for the the lightweight category. And I, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention as well, Valen and Monaj is also a title match uh, as well for the featherweight category. And then this one is going to be a title weight uh, um, title weight uh, title match. Sorry. Uh, between Achilles, Joffy Jolly, and Goku, Joshua Tay. So Achilles, um, Joffy is a very, very huge name in Asia. Um, he was uh, the 2019, I think, IFA champion at the 70kg category. 
Um, he has been undefeated basically for the past 10 years in the lightweight category in Malaysia. And um, yeah, super strong guy. Oh, um, he often beats guys way above his weight class. Um, Joshua, on the other hand, um, he's uh, second right now in Singapore for the 70 kg category. Um, he has uh, has had wars with Valen uh, in the past. Uh, on the left hand, on the right hand, not so much. But he is stronger on the right hand, as I as I believe. And um, both of them very very strong side pressure, very very strong hook pullers. So I am uh, expecting this match to go into the hook as well. Um, Joshua is. Uh, the more explosive of the two guys, Joffy is usually a slower puller, um, immense, immense horsepower from him. Uh, I think he even had a pin on Nur Dalet from uh, Kazakhstan a couple of years ago when they came to Malaysia. Uh, so that is the level of competition that we're having. So yeah, title match between Malaysia and Singapore. Super exciting. Can't wait to see. Um, I think Josh is definitely the underdog here, but I think he has a chance. Next up, uh, unfortunately, we uh, I don't have the the whole stat card for this, but we'll have to make do with this. Um, it's a uh, was a last minute change uh, this match, uh, but we have the vice president of Singapore Arm Wrestling, T Jun here. He was my opponent in the UAC one, uh, where, which I won. Uh, so he's currently number two welterweight in Singapore. But for this match, he was actually cutting. Uh, for the lightweight category under 73, but unfortunately due to you know scheduling conflicts and stuff like that We had to change his opponent the last minute and uh, He is now going to be fighting against this guy Danudet from Thailand. He's better known as UFO um, On YouTube and on social media currently. I think he's their number one middleweight as well uh, or, or welterweight um, so Both of these guys have trained before back when Tijun went over to uh, Thailand, but that was a long time ago. Um, both of them love the hook. Another good hook match incoming, but uh, recently Tijun has been level leveling up his hook game. Uh, I can't budge him in the hook at all. So I'm expecting this to be actually a very, very easy match for, for my teammate over here. But if the Thai guy, UFO, can get a stop on Tijun, I will be very surprised and I'll be... Uh, I'll have a new level of respect for the level of arm wrestling in Thailand. Next up, we have our first welterweight match um, between Sam Burnett on the left here from Australia, the Oceanic Champ, and uh, Novichok Wisely Vance, who is uh, overall number two in Singapore for the left hand, I think. He had a really, really close match with Valen last year at our nationals in the overalls category. And uh, by far the strongest left hand in the welterweight division. Um, I had my top eight Singapore match um, or uh, tournament earlier this year, which he won very, very convincingly. Um, wisely, super strong in the left. Uh, they did pull um, at the after table last year when we were both at over the top Australia back then. Um, wisely wasn't very close to Sam, but he's come a long way in that time. Uh, Sam, I think, is currently number two on the left hand in um, in the 80 kg category in Australia, just behind Robbie Capone. Um, but yeah, if uh, what if Wisely can get a stop on Sam, that that will show that he has indeed leveled up from a year ago. Uh, yeah, this is not a title match, um, but. This one is for the welterweight title. Uh, so one of these gentlemen will be getting my UAC1 title uh, belt. Um, since this year I am, or rather uh, this event, I'm moving up to the middleweight category. The welterweight is uh, from, uh, is below 81 kilos. So it's 73 kg to 81 kg. Um, on the left, Typhoon Kevin Sai from Taiwan. So has been the overall number one in Thailand, um, in Taiwan, sorry, for many, many years, and uh, arguably the, the, the strongest guy in East Asia uh, for his weight category, and 
including uh, weight categories above him. He was second place at IFA uh, Asia um, last year in the overalls category, um, losing only to Seong Yul Bek from, uh, from Korea, I believe. Uh, so I think coming into this, Sam might actually be the underdog, despite him being the Oceanic champ. Um, Kevin has placed very, very well in overseas tournaments. He's, uh, I think he's come in like 8th uh, or, or 11th place at one of the Zloty tournaments at 78 kilos. Uh, but at this, uh, this event, he, they're going to be fighting under 81 kilos. And uh, I'm expecting uh, Kevin to dominate this match. But if Sam is able to stop Kevin, that will mean uh, that will be a very very good sign for the level um that sam has um and, and it would probably mean that he is pretty much close to to a, like a world level standard for uh the 75 to 80 kg sort of range uh next up we have uh oh it's me okay me versus Rhett. okay Rhett. uh no introductions for me needed only thing is that i changed my name from beast uh, it was a beast from the east or beast of the east to art of war i kind of wanted to rebrand a little uh to my sort of more you know mind games technical kind of uh trash talking sort of um branding um versus ret downward so ret is the current i think melbourne or victoria champ uh, i forgot which which one it is uh but yeah state champ um also french re regional champ because um, he travels to Europe quite often and he competed in France last year, I believe. Um, I faced Red before last year in the overalls at Over the Top. Over there, he did beat me, but I have come a long way since then. I've leveled up all my fundamentals, basically, and I think it's not even going to be close. I think this is just a walkover. I'm going up one weight class. I'm not even close to the weight cap for this. Uh, it's going to be 81 to 90 kilos. Uh, so I'm probably 85 kilos right now. Um, he's probably got 5 kilos on me, but that's not going to matter. Um, I'm coming up a weight class for the sole purpose of taking another belt. So, Rhett, uh, good luck to you, man. But no hard feelings when I win you 3-0. Next up, this was also um, a last-minute change, uh, but uh, we have Jolly Johnson, who is the father of Joffy, John, uh, Joffy Jolly that we saw er earlier, who was the, the Malaysian 70-kilo champ. And his dad is an arm wrestler as well, and he used to be um, the number one in Malaysia for a, a period of time. Uh, jo Jolly Johnson, he's uh, in the Masters category right now. Um, but still, I hear that he's doing very, very well for his, himself there. Probably untouchable in the Masters category at at 90 kilos, I think. Um, and yeah, just like his son, very, very strong arm, uh, very strong inside game. Uh, and on the right, we have, I think, the number two or number three guy from um, from Taiwan overall. Uh, we have Glad Chiang. Um, I have never met Glad before. Um, I've seen some of his matches online, but from what I've heard, um, he is uh, of a very, very high standard, very close in strength to Jolly Johnson, from what I've heard from uh, people who know about both of them. Um, don't really have any predictions for this one. Um, it's really a shot in the dark for me, so we'll see on the day itself. Next up, Juggernaut, Jake Chia. The 2022 overall champion of Malaysia, uh, and I think he was second place at this year's uh, Malaysian overalls on the right hand. Uh, this is a light heavyweight super match between him and Raging Bull Kent Tan, who is second place overall in Philippines. So, second overall in Malaysia versus second overall in Philippines. Both going to be in the 91... I want to say 90 to 100 kg category. Um, yes, 90 to 100 kilos, light heavyweight. Um, Jake Chia, very, very strong back pressure, very good rising, um, super solid outside puller. Um, been doing some research on Kent just because I hadn't heard of him before this, but 
after taking a look at some of his matches, I think his style is pretty similar to Jake as well. Um, outside sort of puller, um, very, very solid guy. And um, yeah, but uh, I've pulled with Jake many times before. I know where his level is at. And if it's anything like what I'm expecting, I think Jake is going to win this match very, very easily. I just think that Jake's hand and back pressure is um, very hard to break through. And I don't think that Kent has the ability to overcome the hand and wrist of Jake. Uh, so yeah. Next up, the heavyweight title match between overall number one in Malaysia, Calvin Petrus, and overall number one in Thailand, and probably number one right now in Southeast Asia, Book Sutiwat. Book has been number one. In Southeast Asia for probably more than a decade no one in the region has come close to beating him um, he's recently come out of a sort of pseudo uh, retirement he hasn't been super active the past couple of years um, due to life and work and stuff uh, Calvin as well sort of semi-retired arm wrestler due to life and work as well but he's Coming back very strong, very serious for this match for the title of number one in Southeast Asia. Um, Calvin, currently uh, untouchable in Malaysia. Book, as well, untouchable in Thailand. Um, Calvin, more of a, a posting type of top rule guy. Um, he's not a very tall guy, but uh, that allows him to have a very, very uh, high post with his shorter arm. Um, book as well, very, very um, compactly built guy. Um, a little more versatile than Calvin, I think. Um, he can go strong in the hook and he can go very, very well in top roll as well. So I think this is all about whether um, Calvin is able to force his lane on Book. Um, book having a little bit more options might make this a little bit uh, more difficult for Calvin if he gets forced into a hook, I think. It might be over, but as long as Calvin is able to stay outside, I think he has a very decent shot at the number one title um, in this uh, in this match. So, one definitely one of the most uh, exciting matches to look out for that um, on that night. And then now we have our um, only catchweight um, title match. I think no, not title match, but a catchweight match. Um, between Big Sexy Mike Ford from Malaysia and Big Boss Mark Lewis Ben from Philippines. Uh, Mike Ford second in, in Malaysia only to um, uh, Calvin, uh, who, and, and they are training partners, both of them from Sabah, um, which is uh, not part of the, the, the mainland Malaysia. It's a, it's a little island off of the coast of the mainland of Malaysia. Whole bunch of strong guys from there. Um, forgot to mention that jo um, Jolly and uh, Joffy are also both from Sabah as well, so you know the type of caliber of, uh, of arm wrestler uh, that come out of that area in Malaysia. Um, but yeah, Mike Ford earlier this year uh, very, very easily and convincingly beat Jake Chia, the number two in the overall category. Um, Mark Lewis Ben, uh, pretty much untouchable in Philippines. Um, I think he had um, he had pins on Eric Wolfell a couple of times before. Um, he lost to Eric Wolfell in their uh, most recent match, I think last month, um, but uh, wasn't too far off. So that's the sort of level that Mark Lewis is at. Um, he hasn't really competed outside of Philippines for a couple of years now, not that I know of. And uh, Mike Ford himself uh, competed uh late last year in indonesia but i don't think he did very well for that one as well so this is going to be a, a good test for both of these guys their first real um international super match in, in a pretty long time and uh this is this is going to be a good reality check for the levels um between these two countries uh last but not least we have our very first female Super match. It's a flyweight super match. We have set the cap at 54 kilos. Um, we have Iron Maiden Jermaine, uh, who was the girlfriend of Jake we saw earlier. And uh, we have the endless Haoyun, 
who, had, who was the girlfriend of uh, Joshua Tay that we saw earlier as well. Um, so both of these girls um, haven't really had much tournament experience or arm wrestling, arm wrestling competing experience uh, before, but they do have uh, a decent amount of table experience just by virtue of being with their boyfriends um, and going to trainings with them. Uh, both of them pretty strong in the gym, um, but yeah, first ever female uh, super match. Very excited for this. Um, going to see the level of the female competition uh, in um, in Malaysia because Malaysia's female uh, tournament scene is a, a little bit bigger, or I should say, much bigger than in Singapore. In Singapore, we've we've never had any um, female arm wrestling competition scene at all. So this will be a good check for. Us. And uh, yeah, I think that brings us to the end of the list. Um, covered a lot today. And uh, just uh, four days out, UAC2. Feeling very confident, very strong myself. Uh, super excited. Coming in the strongest I have ever been. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a good night. And uh, before I go off, I just wanted to give uh, another huge shout out to my... Um, my supporters that you see in the corner there, um, we have Mistel, who is a world champ Patreon supporter. That means he's supporting me $100 sing dollars a month on Patreon. Super, super grateful for that. And we have Andy and Leon, who are my first two coffee supporters. Um, so yeah, links to my Patreon and my coffee will be in the description. And uh, yeah, all supporters will be shown in any future video. And uh, yeah, you can go check out my platforms for the, the other perks that will be included as well. But yeah, that's all for today. And uh, see you guys later this week. Stay tuned, guys.